So I want to talk about a story that is going to infuriate you. There's a company called Gilead. This is an American-based uh, biopharmaceutical company, and they are working on a treatment for COVID-19. Now, expectedly, because healthcare in America is a commodity, they are going to be gouging people in the United States. And even if you have health insurance, they're going to charge you thousands of dollars if you have COVID-19. This is absolutely insane. And one of the worst aspects about this story is how they're smugly trying to make it seem as if they're saints and they're, you know, pricing it at this rate for altruistic reasons, as if it isn't an outrageous price. So as William Fuhr of CNBC reports, Gilead Sciences announced Monday the much anticipated pricing for its coronavirus treatment remdesivir, saying it will cost hospitals $3,120 for a typical U.S. patient with commercial insurance. The company announced its pricing plans in preparation for it to begin charging for the antiviral drug in July. The company has been donating doses to the U.S. government for distribution since it received emergency use authorization in May. The drug maker said it will sell remdesivir for $390 per vial to governments of developed countries around the world, and the price for U.S. private insurance companies will stand at $520 per vial. In the U.S., that means Gilead will charge a lower price for government programs and a higher price for private insurers. Whether you're covered by a private insurer, whether you're covered by a government insurer, whether you're uninsured with COVID-19, there will not be an issue for access with remdesivir, Gilead CEO Daniel O'Day said in an interview Monday with CNBC's Meg Tyrrell on Squawk Box after the announcement. Uninsured individuals will be covered under provisions of the CARES Act, a senior official in the Department of Health and Human Services said on a conference call with reporters Monday. For privately insured people, out-of-pocket costs will be determined by individual insurance plans, the official added. While there are still no COVID-19 treatments approved by the Food and Drug Administration, scientists have found some success in shortening the recovery time of severely ill patients by using remdesivir. Given the potential to reduce costs for hospitals and to save lives, Gilead said its price of $390 per vial is quote-unquote well below the drug's value. Oh, well, are they not merciful? They could be charging you a lot more for this potentially life-saving drug, but they're only charging you $390 per vial, which will amount to thousands of dollars, even if you have insurance. At a time when 63% of Americans can't afford a $500 emergency, they are very merciful and altruistic by charging you thousands of dollars for this. I mean, unbelievable. This is greed. This is price gouging. And they're trying to mask their greed, you know, even though this is a multi-billion dollar company, with this rhetoric about how accessible remdesivir will be. I mean, it's outrageous. Just shut up. We know you're trying to pr price gouge us. Don't make it worse by being smug, insufferable pricks. Now, Bernie Sanders spoke out about this. He tweeted, As a company, Gilead is now worth over $15 billion more than before the pandemic, in part because it expects to make enormous profits by charging over $3,000 for a drug they had already developed years ago. Their greed must be stopped. And I applaud him for speaking out about this because I haven't seen many politicians address this. But yeah, they already developed this drug. They put it out, charged people thousands of dollars, even if you have insurance, so you shouldn't have to worry, theoretically. Um, and they're trying to make it seem as if they're the good guys. Oh, well, we're just, we're so kind. Here's this potentially life-saving treatment for COVID-19. That'll be a couple thousand dollars, please. Aren't we really generous? I mean, this is exactly what you expect when you commodify healthcare in this country. Americans should not have to worry about things like this because understand how this makes us less equipped to deal with this pandemic. If people see articles like this, they realize that if they get COVID-19 or maybe they suspect that they have COVID-19 already, this will make them feel disinclined about going to see a doctor because they can't afford the treatment. So maybe they don't know for sure if they have it. They suspect they do. Uh, they go out in public, spread it to more people since this does spread asymptomatically. And then we're we're back to square one, right? We're not flattening the curve. We're not worrying about fighting it. And it's because of things like this. It, it's just, there's so many issues that stem from this, right? People can't afford this. 
Maybe they get the treatment and they receive medical bills. This may dissuade people from seeing a doctor. It's just all around bad. And we shouldn't allow for this. We shouldn't allow for the commodification of sectors of society where people's lives depend on it, right? Like we don't commodify the fire department. It's just a public service that is provided to taxpaying citizens. But we allow for this to happen. And look, if government actually cared and wanted to stop this, then this is an American-based company. They're uh, out of California. So I'm threatening to uh, nationalize them. And you know what? If government actually nationalized more big pharma companies like this, maybe they wouldn't be as greedy. Maybe they'd realize that the government is going to crack down on them. But, I mean, Gilead is smart. They know that all they got to do is... Um, Donate to politicians and then they're good. Uh, pay, you know, a pharma pharmaceutical lobbying firm to lobby on their behalf. And, you know, they're good. They don't have to worry about anything. I mean, they're never going to worry about nationalization. They don't even have to really worry about regulation, right? We keep talking about how we need to lower prescription drug prices. But do we really see that happening substantially? So, I mean, this is going to continue to happen if we don't actually change the policies that allow for this to happen. This doesn't have to happen. It shouldn't happen, especially during a pandemic. But nobody should ever have to worry about whether or not they'll have access to life-saving treatment because of the cost. An immoral society allows that to happen. And because we allow this to happen, we are in a moral society. So, I mean, Gilead should be punished for this. They should be punished for this. They should be nationalized. Now, that's wishful thinking. It'll never happen. But, I mean, for them to just do this willy-nilly and then you know pat their own backs as if they're doing a great service to society it's just it's insufferable and you know reading this story it is infuriating but this is the united states so anyone who hears this they're not going to be shocked this is just what happens in our late stage capitalist country where we have commodified everything